Back now with Mario's Barn. Mario's Barn, I count 23 horses in Mario's Barn, so let's get to it. Barbie's crown was turned out. She's coming back tomorrow. I told everybody she got three weeks, and this three weeks is up. She's coming back in tomorrow. Blue Monk finished second in his training set on Saturday and looked good. Canadian Titan uh, looked really good. I'd said to Mario, um, you know, she's a much bigger filly now, and rather than have her struggle on the turns, I told him, I said, until we can take her to Mohawk, it worked well for Sebastian Yu and Johan, why don't we just gallop her a little bit and get her strong over the back end, keep her happy and comfortable. She enjoys galloping. I ran her on, I want to say Friday, Saturday. I galloped her a little bit. No, it could have been, it must have been Thursday. Thursday, Wednesday or Thursday, I guess, uh, I went up to train her and I just galloped her a mile and a bit and she was really comfy and liked it. So I think that's what we're going to stick to uh, moving forward with probably just galloping. Canadian Titan, carry a big stick, we'll start back training. I guess when I get back, there's no point to start next week. So when I get back, carry a big stick is going to start training. Looked great the last week when I saw him. Cut the line, trained her first mile back on Saturday. Looked very, very good in her training set. Enduring strength, trained well this week also. Just continuing to train him down. First glance is uh, is training well. He's up in the top barn and looks good. I think he was second or third in his training set and looked really good. Frilly Fringes was a winner on Sunday, on Saturday. Amy had a big day. Both her fillies won. Frilly Fringes looked really, really good. Uh, very happy to see her bounce back strong. GW Chrome were just in the midst. So, Kenny, uh, Peggy and Kenny uh, have been with us for quite a long time, way back when we had Rose Run Speedster. So, um, I know them very well, and Kenny was at the barn wondering what's up with GW Chrome. He hasn't really seen him in the sets, and you know, he's seen him make breaks or make mistakes. GW Chrome, we're just trying to transition him. So, um, he's going to need hobbles to race on a half mile track in Ohio. And he's not a big fan of the hobbles, but we had lots of weight on him when we started training him in the hobbles. We took that weight off of him because his knees were starting to get sore. His knees and hocks were sore for a week. We gave him two weeks of just jogging. I brought him over to Mohawk and trained him in 240 on uh on wednesday uh, excuse me on wednesday we trained him in 240 and uh i come back to the barn the blacksmith was there i said all right take all the weight off him chop all his toes off we're going to start setting him up to train with hobbles on um it's easier with a light set of shoes on to train with hobbles on you know their gait is a little lighter their their gait's a little more pliable flexible and uh you can start to work with him so his first training day with hobbles on um, with hobbles on and with lighter shoes on was on Saturday. He trotted the whole way, went a mile on 246, I think. And Mario said he was pacey, he was running in, but we're working on him. This isn't something I didn't I didn't see coming. Uh, it's a process, so just take your time. GW Chrome has a ton of speed to offer, and we will get him there. We're trying to teach him to do something new. And um, it's it's uh, a process, and it takes a time. It takes time to get it done, but we'll get him there. So GW Chrome stayed flat, did his work, and had his hobbles on on Saturday. Inland Beach trained very, very good this week. I saw her go t both times. She trained Wednesday and Saturday. Looked very good. Italian Grit uh, knuckled over and touched himself the other day, and we've just had him castrated. So he didn't go yesterday. Now, technically, he did, but he didn't. He wasn't in a set. Wayne was out jogging him around. I said, hey, turn that colt and go a mile with him. I watched him go his mile. I thought he looked very, very good. I'm Hill on wheels, flat line, looked really good on Saturday. This is another horse, much like GW Chrome. Changed his shoes, changed his equipment, added hobbles. Took him a couple weeks to get it, but he has it now. Mario said he was fantastic on, sa on Saturday. Not quite as good as Jazzy Judy. Jazzy Judy, uh, Eternity Road, I think, has cemented himself. Uh, at least at this point of the year, is the best horse we have. I, I think that's fair to say. I know we have a ton of horses with a ton of talent that could get to him, but he's already there. And, and you've got to beat the champ to be the champ, and it's tough to beat this guy. He's good. So um, uh, Jazzy Judy, I think within the next two weeks, you're going to see Jazzy Judy up in with the best horses. She's, she's tough. Well, I'm not surprised she's tough. She's so stubborn. She's a grinder. I came first over in a set, and she beat up on some decent decent horses. So, um, And people keep asking, well, when are we going to turn her out? I'll turn her out. We're going to get her three, four weeks in, in when the grass starts to come in. No, ra no rush with Judy. I think if we race her at the end of July, I think the, what's it called? The, don't tip my tongue. Uh, the stake race for, for two-year-old maidens. Now, this stake race is held after everybody leaves for their jurisdictions. So a lot of the times, these Ontario brides are horses that are kind of late to the party. 
pure ivory. That's what it's called, the pure ivory steak. So I might aim uh, Jazzy Judy for the pure ivory, and then about three weeks after that, she can head down to Delaware. It looks like if her year goes according to plan, by the time you give her a prep race, for both Delaware and a prep race for Ontario, you're looking at six, nine, 11 starts. So if everything goes right, Jazzy Judy will likely have 11 starts this year. She looked some good the other day. Keystone Raven's starting to look better. You know, before, if you watched the videos before, she always had a little attitude. Her ears pinned sometimes. Her ears are up now. She likes doing her work. She's good at it. Uh, we're gonna change her equipment. She wore a Murphy blind in the outside because she was always looking at the gate, the draw gate when we went by it to go off. She's not looking at it anymore. Take that Murphy blind off and I think she'll be a lot better. Keystone Raven is certainly coming on. Lincoln Hanover didn't train this week. We're just going easy with Lincoln until we get the corks off him. This is a horse, we know he has issues. His knees bother him a little bit. He's been better when we put flip-flops on. That could have been knees or could have been a combination of knees and feet. But nevertheless, for those of you who own Lincoln Hanover, this is not a, a rare occurrence. These are things we notice with horses all the time. Um, uh, Spirit of Dio was the same way last year. She had flip-flops on in the winter, and you know she had made breaks, and I told everybody, just relax, she'll be fine. And she ended up being a good two-year-old for us. So Lincoln Hanover, again, we know his issues. We're dealing with them, working on them. He didn't train this week. He'll likely train next week, and then uh, we'll begin a full, a full dance card for him once the corks come off, I would suspect, sometime next month. Um, Nancy Allison. Now, Nancy Allison is technically on James's side. Uh, again, we had horses we sold, so we were moving horses around, moving horses around um, uh, to accommodate caretakers, right? We don't want to lay anybody off. We don't want anybody with short horses, and there's too many in one place and not enough in another one. That's why the two-year-olds got moved around. Now, we brought Nancy Allison and Rooney Blue Chip back up to the top barn. Technically, George McGuigan, who is on James's side, He's the caretaker for those two horses, but they're under the control of Mario Bergeron. Uh, I took them over and trained them the other day. I thought they were good. Um, I'll continue to keep an eye on them, and then as they qualify in the next two weeks, they'll be switched over to Mario full-time. So Nancy Allison, 205 Nancy Allison was in the other day. I was very, very happy with her. Uh, Off-road Hanover trained good again. Jacques Suave went with him on Saturday. He loves this horse, and he gets along really, really well with him. Rooney Blue Chip, as I just said, is up in the top barn under George McGuigan, under me, under Mario. But um, Rooney Blue Chip trained very, very good the other day. I, I don't want to get into how much I went with him because he's going to be another two weeks coming uh, before he qualifies. We're not going to qualify him when I'm gone away. We may even school him when I come back, so it'll be two and a half weeks before he qualifies. But Rooney Blue Chip was impressive was impressive uh, last week at Mohawk. Uh, Set the Mood continues to train good. This is another horse, much like, uh, where's he at? Much like Lincoln Hanover. We know there's some issues with Set the Mood. He runs in, he runs out, he's peggy going. His knees clearly, obviously bother him a little bit. His feet probably bothering him. Um, another horse that we're probably just gonna back off a bit and keep him hidden and covered until the corks come off and we can start moving him forward. Sunshine and Shades getting very close. Mario trained him the last two, uh, Wednesday and Saturday. He looked fantastic. Walk on the Moon looked good again on Saturday. War We Welcome continues to be impressive. Uh, one part, one major part of uh, the summer we're going to have in 2020 in Ontario. Pretty sure we're going to have a good year. And uh, War We Welcome will be a major component in, in that. And won my heart Hanover. A winner. First time with an open bridle on. And she won her training set on Saturday. I thought she looked very, very good. Very impressed with this filly. Um, just always liked her. Always liked her. So uh, that is what we got so far for um, so far for Mario's Burn. We'll be back in a minute with Harry's Burn. <laughs> 